mountains in Taiwan. Today, I will show you some yoga poses you can do with a friend. We have warrior one, warrior two, and warrior three. All of these poses are called warrior. A warrior is a very strong fighter or soldier. Guan Yu is a Chinese warrior famous for being brave and loyal around 200 AD. Practicing warrior poses helps us feel very strong, centered, and down to earth. This is warrior two pose. In warrior two, your feet are very wide and your front knee bends. Your arms, legs, and your belly are all very strong. Be sure your chest and your hips open to the side. When you do warrior two with your friend, you practice being strong and finding balance in your bodies. It's also a great way to practice cooperation or working together. This is my friend Cindy. We will show you some warrior poses that you can do together. Warrior 2, partner pose number 1. First start by facing your partner at opposite sides of the mat. Each person takes a big step forward with the opposite foot. Be sure to keep your back foot at the back of the mat. When you reach your arms out, your fingers can touch. The front side of your body should face the same direction. From here, you can breathe together with your partner. Inhale, straighten your arms and legs and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and come down again. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Be sure to practice both sides. Warrior 2, partner pose number 2. Begin by standing face to face with your partner. Then, each person steps back with the same foot. Try your right foot. The front sides of your bodies should face opposite directions. Check that your front feet are right next to each other. Then, take the hand that is closest to your friend and put it behind your friend's back. At the same time, put your hand behind your back, too. Hold hands with your friend. You can smile at each other or make a silly face. You can also help each other to have a gentle stretch. Inhale, take a deep breath, and on the exhale, twist the chest away from your friend while continuing to hold hands and keep your feet and legs still. When you finish stretching, Turn to face each other again, and gently release your hands. Then, you can try on the other side. Warrior 2, partner pose number 3. Begin by facing away from your partner. Step back with the opposite foot so your feet press against each other's. Then, step forward with your other foot and bend your front knee. Stretch your head up to the sky and stretch your arms out to the sides. Both of you should have your chest open the same direction. From here, hold the hand or wrist or forearm of your friend. Take a deep breath and gently lean forward. Hold on tightly to your friend so no one falls. You should feel a nice stretch in your arms and shoulders. Don't forget to stretch the other side as well. Our last partner pose for today is Warrior One. This is Warrior One. Bend your front knee and make sure your chest and belly faces forward. Warrior One. Partner pose number one. Begin by facing back to back. Then, each person steps forward 
with the right foot and step back with the left foot. Bend your front knee. Then reach up and behind you a little bit and find your partner's hands. You may have to move a little bit closer or a little bit further away from each other to reach each other's hands. Once you hold hands, you can look up at the sky. If you are both flexible in your back, you can move your feet away from each other to create a bigger bend in the back. Be careful to keep your back and your partner's back safe. Don't push or pull too much. Stay strong in your body and find your balance. Once you've had a nice stretch, you can try to stretch the other side too. Partner yoga can be a really great way to be strong and practice working together. It's really great to have a friend like Cindy help you stretch a little bit more too. Thanks for joining me today, yogis. We will see you next time. Stay safe, everyone. Be healthy. And remember, be happy. Namaste. Wide. Wide. Strong. Strong. Balance. Balance. Cooperation. Cooperation. Opposite. Opposite.